Where is that intern? For today's interview, I want you to explain how you'd create an unsubscribe link in Gmail. Go. I wish I could unsubscribe from your emails. What did you just say? Unsubscribe link will look simple, but behind that one click, there's a whole backend system keeping things secure and compliant. Now, a dumbass like you might put an email directly in the URL like this. The server is then gonna read that and then mark you as unsubscribed. Wait, so someone could just change the email and unsubscribe other people? Exactly, it's completely unverified. And that email and the link can leak through your browser history, server log or analytics, which is a serious privacy risk. So how do companies actually do it then? It's usually a JWT that includes your user ID, campaign ID, and an expiry time. The server signs it with a key from somewhere like AWS KMS. So if anyone edits it, the signature check fails. And when you click it, the unsubscribe API verifies that signature and updates your record. So you can remove from one list or everything depending on how it's set up? Exactly. Some tokens unsubscribe you from a single campaign and others trigger a full global opt-out. All right, smart guy, what about the unsubscribe button from Gmail? That button appears because the email includes a list unsubscribe header. When you click it, Gmail sends a secure post request or even an email to that address. Your backend validates the same signed token before removing that user. And when millions of people click unsubscribe at the same time, what happens then? Oh, each request publishes an event to SNS. Every system, marketing, product updates, newsletters, listens to that topic and updates their own records. It's event driven, so no single service blocks the rest. At the same time, CloudWatch logs every event for auditing. And that's because ignoring updates can either get a company fined or even blacklisted from Gmail or Yahoo. This is pretty impressive intern. How are you learning all this stuff? Man, I just like doing a bunch of hands-on projects. I went to learn.nextwork.org and I just started there. Damn, if I wanted to get a job, I'd definitely be doing all of these projects.